Keith Kelfus with the window cleaning blueprint and we're going to learn how to clean window screens with a dry brush. You don't need anything wet. Look, you take a, you take a dry brush. Not a hard wire bristle brush for cleaning a battery. They're doing roofing around the corner. You hear that? When I first started cleaning windows, I couldn't believe it. I thought that you were a scam artist if you cleaned so many screens with a dry brush. But how do you do the frames, Kelpus? How do you do the frames? How do you do the frames? I want to try that Aztec screen washing machine. Weird. Cleaning the screens with a water fed pole brush. We're trying that out. And they're really, really dirty. By disconnecting it from the DI source and then just running it right off the spigot. And I'm going to get an old water fed pole brush that we don't use anymore to try that. I do notice when you clean the screens with DI water, it like makes them look all oxidized, like that white coating, like it sucks metal screens, you know. It looks like crap. Let me know in the comments below if you offer um, screen magic to your customers and how much do you charge. I was thinking about offering like two bucks a screen I will condition them. But sometimes you're in such a hurry, you will like skip out on things that can make you money because you have such a high demand for your service that you literally don't even have time to do it so you don't mention it. But it goes in the face of uh, the e-myth by Michael Gerber was talking about you do it the same exact way every single customer every time. Like it's a system, a process, a way you communicate. And I was thinking about that. Because you'll make something a priority that makes you good money. You get mad and make don't make stuff a priority, things that don't make you good money and just frustrate you that you don't want to do. So what if it was $5 per screen or even an extra $4 per screen for conditioning? So $4 per screen for cleaning, they're four bucks each. We're charging that, now. we're charging that now this year. It's made a big difference. And the overall average ticket price per job. But, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, yeah, but an extra $4 for screen condition, that's $8 per screen. That's as much as you would charge for a whole window. You could literally double the average ticket price per job by doing that. Now, most of the customers are probably gonna say no. This screen has been done like 10 minutes ago. Um, but if they do say yes, then at least you're getting paid, right? One thing I did this year, it's like this. That's different than every other year, was raising the prices or completely getting rid of services that I hate doing. Like we no longer offer a window track cleaning. We just don't do it. And I was on the phone with my buddy, Anthony Heyman. Heyman's window cleaning, what up? And he was like, we don't even clean tracks anymore. I hate doing it. I leave the house frustrated. I'm like, how could you not offer track cleaning? How could you not? How could, what the hell? Okay, so that was not the fastest week. How could you not offer track cleaning? It was like this barrier in my mind. I felt like I was doing a disservice to the customer or not running a good service. And then I realized that it was all in my head. If you offer something to people, a percentage of them are gonna say yes. If you don't offer it, it's not gonna happen. Like a lot of window cleaners offer gutter cleaning. I used to say yes to gutters on these crazy roofs that it was like, by the time I we finished the job, I was like, well, that's the stupidest thing ever to go, you know, someone's roof like that, right? And now, 
I was thinking about a policy. Like, we only do walkable roofs when we clean gutters. If a screen doesn't come out of the window, we're not going to break it out. We'll do the best we can, we'll clean it from the inside, or we're not doing it. It's just like so much more cut and try. And then you get to the point where you think you can't move any faster, do any more work, and then you do. And you get much, much, much more done faster. So we're flying now. We get in and out of jobs really, really fast without all the headaches as before. Yeah, dog. Alright. I'm out of here.